Hey guys, so here I am at my second attempt to toilet train my cat, Rambo. I tried this two months ago, but I failed because of the quality of the equipment. Basically, I bought a training kit that was five times cheaper than this one, and it couldn't hold his weight. Rambo was about six kilograms, and the toilet training kit was really flimsy and thin. Basically, this is what happened on the second day. I'm super excited to be trying this again as there are so many benefits should Rambo be able to do his business in the toilet bowl. I'm just really really excited about not having to buy litter anymore and also not having to clean his litter box. So step number one is we're gonna have to put the litter box right next to the toilet bowl for one week but because Rambo's litter box is already quite close to the toilet bowl we're gonna skip that step and just go straight to step two which is putting the kit on the toilet bowl with litter. So week after week, we'll be removing the rings one by one until there's none left. All right, guys, I'm going to be documenting Rambo's second attempt at toilet training and wish me luck. Here's the box and it says toilet train a cat in only two to seven weeks. And at the back, there's more information, three simple steps and what's included in the set. Okay, so inside the box, they give like more information on the steps. You have it in English and you also have it in Chinese. Okay, so what's in the set? This is what you get. You get two pieces of the blue rings. If you look closely, you have to cut it. I actually thought they were removable, but actually, if you see the lines, it looks like you have to cut it. And they give you two, so I'm guessing if you kind of need to like rewind or start all over again, you have two. Okay, so this is the base and this would go on top like this. And week after week, we just have to remove the rings. So one, two, three, four. So I'm hoping maybe in four weeks, Rambo will be toilet trained. Huh, Rambo? So Rambo currently does his business in the guest bathroom and this is the current arrangement. Like we have it in the shower and it's about a meter away from the toilet bowl, which is why we're gonna skip step one. So I've placed the toilet training kit on the toilet bowl. It fits perfectly. Like it's really sturdy. So again, I'm pretty confident that he's not it's not gonna fall in like the last one. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh and he's here again, he's curious already. So I've placed his litter, mix, I mixed some clean litter with his last litter and I'm gonna have to now remove the litter box and it looks like we're, we're ready to get started again. It took some time to get the ball rolling. During the first 24 hours, Rambo refused to use the toilet. Only on the next day did he finally do his business. After this point, week one was pretty much smooth sailing but you can expect to clean a lot. Every time Rambo used a toilet, he would kick litter to the ground. And I didn't want him to think that the ground was his toilet. So every time he did that, I would sweep it. And I was sweeping like two to three times per day for the first week. And every time Rambo used the toilet, I would have to clean the kit. Week two and week three were much better. I didn't have to clean so often. This is week three and at this point, we had removed two rings already. And you can see there's much less litter. I would say after week three passed by, I thought, okay, you know, like Rambo's got this. He's gonna get an A plus for toilet training. So here's week four and we were on the last ring and Rambo continued to pee inside the toilet bowl. But for some reason, he refused to poop inside. He had been doing it correctly for the past three weeks. And then now, when the hole was much bigger, he just decided not to. For one week, he kept doing this. And it was like he was protesting again. He would hold his pee and poop in and meow like crazy. So we decided to give it a week and see if he would get used to it. But he didn't get used to it. And you can see that he was really stressed out every time he wanted to go to the toilet. So after week four, we decided, you know, it was better to bring his litter box back. So in conclusion, I think it's definitely worth a try. It might be a waste of four weeks, like in my case, 
but if it really works out and your cat is comfortable with it, there are just tons of benefits.